Two, one, fight. Select your hero. Good cat. That's good, bro. Kill him. Exhausted, but you know, chilling. I want to get myself a coffee. A little bit of a stressful day, but eh, shit happens, right? All that matters is that we're gonna get these Overwatch dubs. And that's what all it all matters. Test, yeah. What was it? Which class was it for? English, I see. Oh, English unit. Wait, what? What? What's in like a? What makes like an English like unit again? I forget. Like, if was it a different book you're all reading or something? Like, what is a unit in English? Like a different book. The book we're doing, yeah, okay, makes sense. That's literally what it is. It's like kind of fake in a way. It's like you're not actually like learning English. You're just kind of learning a book. And then like the systems in that book, I guess. I guess part of literature is like understanding literature to an extent. Rather than like actually like learning like English techniques. I guess you do learn English in case you learn it that way. This is the
my hidden profile. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <sighs> Every soldier needs a cause. And chat, this is gonna be the freshest gaming ever, most focused ever gaming ever. Because I realized, chat, lately. Okay, I have to address the elephant in the room, dude. Lately, I have fallen to the dark side. Okay. The last couple weeks, I have, uh, <laughs> I have been uh, getting mad at these games. Okay, listen. Even though there are some justifiable criticisms that have been made, it still doesn't justify the rage in my soul. You know what I mean? It's like a, it's like a soul thing. That just by being mad will make me play worse the next game anyways. So it's like, I just have to like never be mad, dude. Never rage. Only focus. Alright, let's focus up now. Fuck. Nice. The Genji was on me. Royal's left side, they're pushing left side. Down support. So be careful, we're still waiting for a support. Oh. Drop the healing down there. She's playing so well right now, chat. Like, playing playing so well. Time where, like, I feel like I even need to use ult. Yeah. Yeah. No, now we're now we're gonna win with ult, these ults. I'm waiting to use my ult for Genji. The barrier cannot withstand much more. And they're probably gonna try and ult here. Wait, 
he missed. Oh, that's why I done all the entire time. <laughs> okay. so I guess you missed. I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead. Not no immortality. Eleven and zero. Oh. Eleven and zero. Oh. Perfect round. I didn't even do shit that round, dude. I just sat there and put Discord on people. Zero to zero. Fucked on. Nice. See, you take those dubs. Take those dubs. No bad vibes. You know, even though I may not have had the best day today, I'm still having a good time in Overwatch because Overwatch is the best game ever, dude. Best game ever. I love Overwatch. Every soldier needs a cause. You see, Valorant. The thing about Valorant is that it doesn't have a Zenyatta in it. So that's why Valorant is one of the worst games. Okay. In this world, pacifism is foolish. <laughs> you think I am a pacifist? You sure talk like one. Perhaps it is hey. that are foolish. Yo, what's up, shy guy? How you doing, man? Uh, and I know, Chad. I'm sorry. This might be controversial, but the webcam is fucking broken, dude. I don't know. Webcam doesn't want to work. I have to like. Recalibrate it somehow. We'll see though. Eventually, we'll have webcam. But webcam's busted. It's truly been a rest in peace. Team. That's just team diff, dude. Team I feel like diff. Sigma is like so bad right now, but like I don't He's know. Really like, really I don't know. I feel like Sig is actually one really of the better tanks. I. Yeah, I mean, they also just did not counter me. Like, if if yeah. he went Ryan or Zarya right there, I'm fucked. You know, like. Yeah, they could also have played Roadhog because we also had a Bastion, or like their own Sig. They could have played Sig. Yeah. GG though. Good job. By the way, they got fucked. Damn. That was pretty gross. Taking games. See these games? They belong to me. They belong to us. Get those dubs. 1-0. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Puck. Got my coffee. I have me a qu coffee. Welcome to Ishperanza. Chad, what's your favorite cereal? No, I really actually like, if I had to say what my favorite cereal is, I would most likely say chocolate fruit. Um, no, 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 I'm, I'm trolling. Chocolate Lucky Charms. It's like you have the, the chocolatiness of a Nesquik, but then you also have the Lucky Charms charms, you know what I mean? So I would say cho chocolate Lucky Charms is my favorite cereal. Kind of specific. I don't know if they even make it anymore, but Chocolate Lucky Charms, pretty goaded. And then besides that, you know, Fruit Loops is kind of like the universal S tier. Like if 
Fruit Loops isn't on anybody's at least A tier, then there's like just something like wrong with you. You know what I mean? It's, it's one of those types of things. I love Fruit Loops, dude. Has to universally be like, or else it's just weird. Like cereal, although I see. No, it's fair, but you know, it's what it is, man. But like for the people who actually would say a claim, such as saying, "Oh, I love cereal," and then they don't like Fruit Loops, then there's like something wrong. You know what I mean? But like since you don't like cereal, I I think it's understandable. You know, you're a case where it is acceptable. One of those like a last case scenario. It's <laughs> uh. funny how you say last case scenario. It might grab soon. Right here, right here. Wow. Star's gonna grab soon. Oh, nice, bro. Oh, wow. Sim. Walk out, walk out, walk out. Uh, you see, at this point, they have four counters for me. So, I mean, at this point, I can justify a swap. You can't escape. Every soldier needs a cause. Motherfucker new. Enemy on the move. Stop them. Life protects life. Where one, where one? No! And fuck them. No, he was still here. Okay, whatever, man. My bad, dude. Hey, now. Yeah, huh. Get paid all that glitters of gold. Only she was Fuck you, Zarya. Let's 
Okay, bro. Flank Moira. So Moira flanked our right side. Can I get a mercy real quick? Maybe, possibly. This was for the viewer shires or lurkers out there. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Oh, that'll be good. I just need to find a way to win, you know? Kind of tough right now to win this. Like, I troll and then they troll, right? So now I have, like, the troll advantage. Because, like, the most recent troll is the one who is trolling worse. Mm-hmm. That more of a fade, too. Dude, I trolled. Like I'm, you know, I'm the reason we lost. You know what I, mean? I guess so. Bro, they're so bad. The enemy team is so bad. Well, it's not even lost, anyways. Sorry, 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 sorry. The robot has been secured. Nice. Yep. Thank you. Alright, we, I, we, I have ult for this. We also have coalescence. We can definitely win. Next two fights. Just play your lives, guys. Don't get picked. They're a lorry now. Where's our? Where's our? Where's our? Nice. Pop dead. Barriered. Can you res or not? Barrier visor. 
Reaper die. This Reaper is clueless, dude. Oh well. Can't win them all. Like, I don't even need to really press tab, so. Go next. <laughs> they just had visor, you know, like. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I was in the wrong position for that. I should have known, like, oh, visor. Because they just use Bob and then. It's likely that they have visor too, so I should have like, I mean, he used visor and I had a whole while of time to just get away from it. With a bit of foresight, I could have seen that literally the moment I die, my team loses the whole game. So I should have just played my life there at that last moment. So is what it is. Ready to learn. Sometimes you scare me. I hope they put up a fight. Systems calibrated for my. Hey, can we have like not a dog shit support comp, please? It's like one good support character. Thank you. Someone called the Wendland side. Someone called the Wendland side. Someone called the Wendland it will not work. Lucy Lucia is horrible. Please pick something good. Oh, guys, look, the porn ad is spawning or uh, spamming a voice line. Funny guy over here. Not far. Oh, is that far trying to find me right now? Do you see that, shy guy? <laughs> I far uh, literally thought for a moment. Funny thing, I don't even play Echo, dude. I like, the bro. <laughs> I don't even play this character. I very recently started playing her. Echo's actually a lot of fun. Playing Echo kind of restored a bit of my enjoyment for this game. But there is something to be said about it. Oh! Oh, damn. Thank God, me. Oh, no. What is this blade? Oh, okay. Not bad. I was talking smack. Bro. Wow. Okay. That was a 
very good lesson. Good job, Genji. Nice, GG. I mean, GR. <laughs> G. It will not work, your Doomfist 2023. Yeah, bro, what the hell? Yeah, bro, I mean... I mean, Mercy, as long as the Mercy knows not to, like, pocket pocket and actually give good heals, which she clearly is doing great heals. So, I mean, yeah, as long as Mercy knows how to, like, heal and not just, like, pocket, and then it's triple. You gotta feel and enjoy the music. It's not too bad, huh? Five, four, three, yeah, right? It's like... What? I mean, we are plat too. Like, I mean, to be fair, any comp is gonna win plat. <laughs> Sim TP. Hit by a shit laser right behind me. <laughs> I can do better than that. Advancing upward. Hope you're doing well though, Matt. What's up with you, bro? some doom jeez now doom's pretty sick i really like the music from that game i've never played doom but i do really like the music uh and i'm pretty sure i would enjoy it because like why who wouldn't enjoy playing as a character where you just like fucking massacre like a bunch of demons you know like isn't that sounds like awesome No, I want to press Q! Oh, that's enemy! Because I knew! Doom pretty quiet. Yeah, I mean, pretty quiet, no? GG. Bro, decisive echo victory. Just echo. Just an echo win, dude. Days! Plat 2. Oh my god. Listen, I might be shit, but I'm not that shit, okay? 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 I might be bad. I'm not that bad, okay? Uh, let's be real, dude. Okay. 
What are you saying though, Matt? You're trying to play eventually soon ish, soon slash something. Also, dude, all I'm saying about the Genji thing, dude, is because, look, I have 147, so, like, 90% solo queue fucking games, okay? And for me to have a positive win rate with that, dude, is in and of itself an achievement, okay? That's all I'm saying, dude. Over 140 fucking games, positive win rate, okay? That's good. That's actually good. Considering that I mostly just drop games or drop losses... Whenever I'm in a bad mental mood for the day and I lose like a lot of games, that's why I lose like most of my games anyways. So I feel like I definitely am skilled at these heroes, okay? How about 147 games on fucking Gang? Gangus. I still have much to That's a lot of games, dude. Mm. You went down a lot of ranks, yeah. Well, to be honest, most of those games I didn't even really play Genji. That's all, all I'm trying to say. Yeah, for me to even lose that many games and still have a positive win rate on my most played character. You know what I'm like I definitely can perform. Ow. Well, this season I only peaked D4, but I dropped from Diamond 1. Get out of there. Wait, how might my whole team get wiped? Okay, cool. Like, I drop, but every time I drop, I always climb back anyways. I mostly drop during days where I'm having, like, a bad, like, mental state. It's definitely my mental that makes me lose games. Not a lack of skill, it's just my mental. When I'm in a good mood, I can play, like, very well. But if I'm in a bad mood, I'll just, like, rage queue and, like, tilt throw games. No, there was a little, just a tiny bit of cum that I walked on. Just a little bit, dude, tiny bit. Oh no. I actually reflected some of it back too, bro. I just took a little step in it, dude. Fuck. Tragic. Like, I just can't do much with that, unfortunately. I wanted to switch Reaper much earlier. Now you swam in it. Yeah, I totally swam in it. Yeah. You can't escape death. But what I'm basically trying to say is that it's not really skill issue because every time I demote I always climb back up always I always make it back and I know for a fact I'll make it back to diamond within the next couple of days like it's just a given you know what I mean I mostly am held back by my mental I definitely very strongly believe that and my focus It's not a skill issue, dude. Never. Never. I don't know. I mean, sometimes I get gapped, though. Like, I get gapped by, like, a few people I play against, but I don't, like, usually get gapped. 
I'll start getting gapped more often when I get closer to master, though. Was I the only person who saw that soldier? I want to see if I can get something going with Reaper. IDC. He said, I don't care. Huh? What? Bro. <laughs> like, dude, are you kidding me at this point? Okay. Okay, I guess I'll go soldier, dude. Every soldier needs a cause. Wait, why would we even nano? Wait, what? Did we use ults? high ground I guess play around this little drop here this will be my cover no need for me to play super forward we have a tracer to kind of do that kind of thing just gonna look for a bomb I have my visor it's winnable careful tracer Let's go point. Playing pretty aggressive. I wanted to catch somebody off guard and kill them, but it's fine. No need to be greedy, chat. No need to be too greedy. 
Flashpoint unlocks in 10 seconds. Tango spot! <coughs> I tunnel vision by shooting the tank a little bit too much there. Like, I should have helped to kill this carriage over there. It, it, by extension, that was a mistake. That I'm, I'm gonna admit that I shouldn't have been doing that. See how I tunnel on the tank a couple times? Just like a universal mistake that I make in my gameplay, but, you know, I'm just trying my best to focus on improving that. You know, it's like if fixing these little game sense things will just make me get master, you know what I mean? I have to. You know, I still make mistakes. No matter how much I like to ego not admit it, it's, it, it's nice to admit, admit it, you know. Or some point. Okay, back up, wait for our tank. Last prio. See, just literally kill two people before then the tank has to like get the fuck out because their tank's like, what? What is peel? What am I peeling? There's nobody alive to peel anymore. We have three ults, so let's just use these smartly. We should win. Kiriko, I should have right clicked her. Bah! I mean, a little bit of a preemptive nano, like, uh, I don't know about that, man. Like, I don't know about that nano boost, dude. It's a little bit sus, chat, I'll be honest. Made that a bit harder than it had to be, but they used all their ults too, right? All I have to do is get a pick here. Oh! No! Oh man! Okay, well that's my bad, fuck. Damn it. How did I get insta-killed like that, man? I must have taken a kunai at the same time. Wow. Ult diff. That's all it really is. They had more ults than us. 
And their Orisa literally solo ulted me too, so. I mean, I shouldn't have died to that Javelin, but it was just kind of lost past that point, I guess. Fuck, dude. I was playing well, too. Unfortunate, no? Kind of, kind of, kind of unfortunate. I'm just interested how I die so instantly from Orisa Javelin, dude. Fuck, man. Just on me at that point. <sighs> like, blah, blah, blah. You know, see what I'm doing? Dude, there's like 10 different reasons why I could have blamed my team there. There's like 50 different reasons, but it's not really worth anything. I'll just intrinsically look at my own play there and, you know, got caught out. Every and that's pretty much all there is to it. I could have killed the Kiri there with my nano visor, but it wouldn't have really Something been significant. We were losing that fight anyways because we fought at the choke, so team wide problem. Doctor, if anything, but for lunch after the it only matters my own Seeker, mistake. That was years and years ago, but we had a lovely talk. Oh, I remember now. Uh, birds, wasn't it? Birds and music. Like, I can create excuses to blame the teammates. I can create these. And none of them are really wrong in their own way. Isolated, everything... Nothing is really wrong. The only thing that matters, though, is when I talk about myself. It's the only thing that actually matters. The only thing that has any weight to it. Like, imagine you... I never got picked like that as soldier. It's just a perfect game, you know? We're talking master... We're talking mid-high master gameplay, dude. If I can, like, actually... Fix all of those little micro positioning issues that I have. That's what it is, bro. That's the journey of climbing. I think I'm in a mental state to climb right now. We're gonna get this going. Help. I'll try and assault their high ground. I am always ready to learn. Push, push, push. Dusting off. It's good, Baldy. bail you out of elo hell yeah not the ladder not the other way around oh. Oh, yeah, no laser mm. now what is happening to this team I don't know, Baldy. You're gonna have to behave yourself this time, dude. Or else it's uh, a bit of a questionable... Questionable experience. Yeah. Wait, why my nano? Yeah, I don't know uh, what you're even talking about, dude. Like, I don't know, man. You should know that I don't really have that type of patience, you know what I mean? I would like to just have a normal thing. Get out of Please, 
Don't let the mercy rip. We gotta get kill. Reposition Are you push? Thank you. No! Ah! Fuck, dude. I tried. Yeah, I don't know what you're even talking about, Baldy. <laughs> I think you're creating um, images in your mind, you know what I mean? It's like, you can feel any way you want to feel. See, Baldi, the thing is, is that you, uh, I, what's the, what's there to even say? The person who's projecting is saying projection. You know what I mean? It's like logically doesn't make much sense. Like, that's what you're doing, dude. <laughs> like, you know what, it, you know, the way you acted the other time, and that's just all there is to it, dude. Like, do I really need to say anything further? I stand corrected, kinda. I'm, um, you know what I'm saying? Every soldier needs a cause. Remember what we're fighting for. I only said good things. Yeah. Yeah, zero percent annoyance. You're right, you're right. So I, I wasn't annoyed. It's like it's not annoying, you know what I mean? Totally not trying to convey that it's just annoying. <laughs> I'm totally not just trying to be normal about it, you know? It's like... Alright, you need to get on top. Over here. Right now. Ready? Yeah, for real. Have a normal day. <laughs> We're on the same page, it's not annoying. Okay. Play safe, play safe. I love how Mercy can just res through a wall, dude. 
I love when they gave Mercy the ability to res completely out of line of vision. Just hit res and then completely hide behind a corner and res a soul that's here. She can and then walk behind and just res it. it like this, this is a horrible design for the character. They need to change Mercy. It's just, it just doesn't make any sense intrinsically that she can break LOS and still res the soul. That needs to be changed. A skill, yeah, you it's a skill issue. But she was literally fucking there. Rising on Orisa here, she was there. Like, are you kidding me, dude? Listen, I'm only winning this because of the Metroid Prime music, dude. So unless you understand, even own a GameCube, then I don't think you should be talking, man. Nintendo GameCube. Okay, that's what I'm fucking saying right now. Talking shit, dude. You don't even know good games, man. Bob is capping the point. I own you. Yeah, you own me. You own me. You see this? This is the character that's gonna- This is the player that's gonna get you to master, okay? That's how it is. Perfect, bro. I played that round perfectly. My time is now, now. You can't see me. My time is now, now. Perfectly, yeah. No, I played. What did I even die that entire defense, bro? Now listen, bait used to be. Here's the thing: when you bait somebody, you have to say something believable. Okay, you don't just oppose for zero reason. You know what I mean? I didn't even die once on defense. I stayed alive the entire defense. Zero death, actual zero death defense. That is perfect. I got the support each time, each push. That was perfect. That was actually perfect. I can't really name a possibly a possibly better way I could have played Soldier 76 on defense that round. Select your hero. I actually went nuts, dude. That was actually really good. I mean, we had to full hold them first point. There's no other way you could do that if even one person gets picked out of position, dude. You actually you lose the defense, you lose! I'm, how am I wrong? Ah. It's alright, Baldy. I know you had a bad day. But, you know, I actually had a bad day too, so it is what it is, dude. But, I'm feeling pretty good. Winning games. Normally in the past, when I had a bad day, I would lose games. But now, since I've understand the connection between the mind and the game... Ah, oh, bad day, I'm in a mic stream. Jeez. I appreciate that. Sorry, I had a pissy moment in the morning, but you know, I'm chilling. Yeah, it's a good day, good vibes. No bad vibes. Because, like, bro, even Matt watched, bro, I'm going crazy on Echo lately, dude. New character I started playing. Echo's actually so much fun. I recommend. Rip Doom. Oh no, that's not Widow, that's an Ash. Nice. Yo, pop off, pop off, Widow. Let me get you. 
Fuck that Genji, bro. That Genji in the back line, someone gets this annoying fuck. I got fucked. Holy. Damn, he got the right, he got the headshots, dude. Damn. Yeah, that's the thing. Genji can actually fight flying characters, you know? So. I kind of just got fucked. lived at like one singular HP. Ah. Oh! Ah. Fucking road, dude. So scary, man. Ow. Come on. Kind of hard to get Echo to work now. They have so many counters, like so many hit scans now. Like maybe one hit scan doesn't counter me, but you know, like four. Lebob. Point, point. Oh, that full bomb combo. Do it like that. Ah, fuck. Oh, oh I mean, I baited his hook, right? Surely. Oh. oh. Oh, Echo's laser is really strong. Deals very high damage to targets under half health. So, like, the enemy tank is half. Just go... You know? Sombra's like somewhere behind us. Damage 
Yeah. I don't know where she went. On point, oh, on she point. didn't even touch. Ah. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Bro, that's what I'm saying right now. See, now we're winning games. Now we're winning games. Dude, the fact that we won that last match was crazy. It was actually crazy that we won that previous match on, uh, what was it, Numbani. I keep mixing up, but this is Dorado. Okay, this is Dorado, right? Numbani is the one where Orisa and Doomfist lore with like the gauntlet and it's and you're like you start in like that airport terminal thing. And then Esperanza is the new push with like the it's like the only good push map, Esperanza. Shambali Monastery, Arctic Peninsula. Havana is the the one where there's like the canoes. Where's my tank? Wait, is my tank dead? Where's my tank right now? Oh, my mind. I was so confused, like, where is the Doom? He was, like, there. Oh, he got Hanzo, though. Nice. Oh, More is one there. Oh. Ah! All guns on point alone. I've been Nice shot, Doom. Get that last single bullet, dude. And then she holds me down. Fuck, man. I couldn't get one bullet off on her. Oh, man. Thank you. Oh. It's not Jover. It's not Jover.
nice. Reaper TP somewhere. Reaper might be flanking us. Yep. I have my ult though. Wow, wait, really? Kind of bro. Someone needs to fill this up. Genji. Genji behind mine. Bro. Oh man. And I get hooked. Fuck man. Listen. Let me cook, let me cook. Fine, Topper. Oh, can we touch? What's the Doomfist doing? I don't know, man. Our Doomfist was playing on point there. You can clearly see he's in their no, Doom was choke. definitely trolling, but uh, I like I don't know what the Doom was doing there. What was he doing? Hmm. Right? Like, am I am I wrong to to say that you clearly even see him not on the point? So. Well, Baldi wrote, okay, you guys are trolls, man. <laughs> you guys are trolls. Oh, that's what you meant. That's what he was doing. I guess, yeah, I guess he was fisting uh, the enemy support, I guess. That would make sense. Just another day in the office. Is that it? Need someone to tuck you in? Need someone to tuck you in? Need yeah. someone to tuck you in? Keep in sight. I have a skin and out in no time. Hey. Maintaining Hey. Look, our tank is AFK. Tank? Oh, okay. Two, one. I'm mean, worried there. This will go smooth. Nice. Good pick. Cover behind us. Good 
They're double flying. Careful. Get ready to shoot them. Echo and far. Uh, Like kill at least one of them. Unless if both of them dive me at the same time, it's gonna be no dives. I salt me. No! Mm, support, dude! Far, far. The four is just contesting, dude. I'm sorry, but I have no clue, dude. I have no clue. <laughs> Holy. What the fuck is going on? What is happening? I rubbed some dirt. Yeah, I tried to steal it in that whole time. I have, I have no idea why. Your Faro was on the ground, like on the floor. Down. I have no idea. <coughs> and like nobody was shooting her, you know what I mean? Alright, let's, uh, let's May and Nano, yeah? Over here! The floor, the faro was on the floor, like the ground. Just throw that shit on point, and I'll fucking nano you. <laughs> nice stuff, Mercy. Good shit. Double you, Mercy, dude. Mercy. That's what had to be done. Score. Three. We went double flying, dude. Double flying. Okay. It's actually hard, man. It's hard to play against double flying, dude. Both of them dive you at the same time. Like, I'd love to see. You know, I'd love to Nephi. see how oh, people Nephi. deal with that, dude, because that's pretty hard, dude. Every I'm the only hit scan cause. too. Right or wrong, I'm gonna finish this war. <sighs> but they swapped uh, Cassidy Tracer, which is weird. Actually, don't understand why they would switch off the Farah and Echo. Especially since it took us completely by surprise, and I doubt we even made all of the counter picks that we could have made for it. So, to be honest, they should have stayed far echo. They probably would have pushed further. Honestly, if, if Hog, yeah, if Hog also like oversteps too much, if we just wall him off, I'll anti him, and that'll be it. Four, three, two. I am always ready to land. It's pretty easy. <laughs> Escort the Man, I tried. Fuck. I don't know, man. The Doom got smelted. I tried, man. He might die now again. If that Ana hit her sleep, the Doom died. Because I'm on it. You literally just hurt and saw the Ana and we Ana missed the sleep on the Doom point blank. If he got set there, he would have died to the Bastion. 100%. Interesting. 
Whew. Is it my double? God, I'm so sorry. If I pick, if I got picked, there it probably was over. Can't get picked. I should die. No! Ah! Die! Die! Wow! Wow! I mean, it the uh, it speaks for itself. You guys can draw your conclusions. I'm just gonna go next. Cause I know if I play the exact same way, we're actually gonna win so many games, dude. Let's squad up, okay. You guys can draw your own conclusions from that match. Be my guess. Okay, Baldi joining. Cool. Let's go. Although I like the terminology badly. That's a good, uh, actually a nice, um, uh, name. Badly. <laughs> you think you're bro? That's how he says, hey, bro. We got badly in the squad. Matt did that intentionally. You can take your beef up with him, dude. Matt actually did. That was a violation on the part of Matter Air. That was a vi certified violation. <laughs> What's my win loss today? 3 3. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. your defenses select your hero I was talking with badly right yeah and what did badly say every soldier needs a cause Damn. That's far. It won't be a problem because I'll get diamond anyways. Baldy typing LMAO like. Hey, badly. <laughs> Go solo D rank to flat dude. I can tell we can tell who's angry, you know. Seems to be a little bit of anger and resentment. Good. Thanks. Come on. 
Sorry, 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 Bob. Fuck. No. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. She's terrible at target. Bad healing her. Happy as well. Reaper find us. Reaper dead. But really, I killed Reaper three times this round. Sorry. Nice hook on the back. Let's go. Call back, call back, I'm here. Nice. She's dead. They got Bastion Reaper now. Nice hook on the back. Let's go! No, it's like reacting to Roadhog's hook is how you want to play against him. Like Roadhog doesn't really need to have a one tap on his hook. He doesn't need that much damage. Hooking somebody into your team, it should be enough to kill them because you just shoot whoever Roadhog hooks, right? Like hit him with two or something. Oh, I'm safe. Uh. Yeah, grab definitely incoming, guys. Guys, uh, be careful how we do. Watch grab, it's coming. Thank you, Anna. You're, uh, grab your fucking hero. Got both their supports. Both their supports are dead right now. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Guys, good deal. Fall back. Yeah, I go high ground. That's better. I mean, sorry, it's high ground. Reaper bottom left, bottom left, going into the castle. Reaper and Zarya high ground. Bashing up me low, I'm anti. Sorry, is low. Nice, bap, get bap. Bap dead. Guys, re on a one. Doing some good coverage here. Calm a lot. Calm scap. Definitely better comms than other days. Hostile here. Reaper left. He's like left side, bottom left. Yeah. Reaper's in the castle. They're all pushing left. Rosari in the castle too, guys. They're going They're through full flank. All Careful left, up yep. top there. Go, 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 fall back. Take a couple steps back. Careful, man. I can't get up to you guys, come down. Nice. Excellent comms, bro. That was fucking bad. Your field? Mm. Those are really good, really good comms by the team. Hop up, hop up! No. Careful, you're alone. Huh? I got back field. No field, no field. Okay, nice. Reaper left. I need help, I need help. Reaper behind you. Huge. 
Huge. Mercy, you fucking saved my life. Nice. I timed that right click, Matt. I hit him with the right click. Okay, we got no ult for this. We gotta play real carefully. Get bashing, get bashing. All good, all good. No more mortality. Oh my god, that ult went on for so long. We're outnumbered. I'm running. He breaks the matrix, goes through my full heal, mercy healing me, it's still not enough to stop one home. <laughs> Alright, people, together, together, together. I'm behind you. Oh, hell no, I'm anti I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I have visor we can touch. I took Bastion off, but I died. I don't know if you can rest, I have. You're uh, crazy, Mercy. Well, they use everything for me, right? They don't have immortality. Okay, it's fine. There's zero seconds. We can hold them here. Diva is a bit annoying right now, though. Hate the fact that there's Diva right now. That no mortality. I'm dead to this bomb. Fuck, man. It's such an awkward position that I have nowhere to run to. And the Mercy messed up her res, fuck man. Well, I was the mile up there, fuck. Can we saw that? Can we, can we touch? Nice kill! If we get him to zero seconds, that's good. Yeah, yeah, if we can, that's good. I'll fall, stop leaving that. Oh, I'm about to die. Zero's huge, zero's huge, zero is huge, huge if we can do it. Too many deaths, though. Yeah, too many deaths. Yeah, too one, too many deaths. Okay, okay, we got this. So even, though. So close. Fuck. of one second. Yeah, fuck. Thank you guys want. Not your fault, man. I you again. To learn. I think not that, bad. like... Is not their bad. Their Reaper was just, like, doing some crazy stuff. Like, sometimes you just... You get good alts off. You wanna maybe play Girl, Zarya? Because I know that their tank plays either Zarya or D.Va, so... Ah, uh, sure. I feel like her D.Va was just like a... She was scared, so she swapped. I don't think she's actually gonna play D.Va. Let's get our hands here. Zarya's one, 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 Z
No mortality. No supports. Those guys are nice. Good job. Guys, you. Go and get me some charge. I don't think that's close enough. Oh, I killed the Thor. That's crazy. Winston now. Uh, Winston and Farah. Got far as well. Oh, I messed up. That's my bad. See, I died. My mistake, though. My mistake. I'm giving them the heat, though. We're giving them the smoke. Also, down for some hot so we some hot. Okay, well, I got to leave it. Start up. We can nano blade once we have tank here, Hana. Wait for Zarya. Look for an engage, then I'll nano blade. Oh man. Fuck man. All cooldowns burn. I mean, like, you know, they literally used, like, actually every single cooldown at their arsenal, and that's why we win with that Nano Blade, regardless. You know, I mean, I should have killed that BAP. I'm surprised I didn't kill the BAP at least, but they use Winston's everything. Fuck. Winston has a for sure. Oh yeah, he's gonna try and boop us off the map. We can try push right side. Winston all. Matt, can you play like we Bastion something or something? I feel like we could just burn them in like in one second. Why are we even pushing up there? Look where our payload is. Here you come to teleport. Oh, 
Ah. Uh, nice. I'm with you. Forbes asleep. Okay, guys, this is, it's now or never. Gotta use our oh. failure. Turret is pain in the ass. Okay. The Reaper's dead. Nice. Nice, thank you. I gotta take space, I'm going right side, someone watch left. I'm going left. And there's someone going left, someone, it's torn, it's torn. Yep. Enemy torn. Got torn. Nice. It's already his left side. No mortality. Get your support, Reaper. Oh, I'm sorry now. Nice, good shit. Fuck, let's go. They used ult for that, right? They used the Reaper ult? I don't even remember. I was just fighting Torb on the left, like full focus. Just may, just may. Make sure the mate doesn't all get her. Nice! Holy shit! Heal me. I love you, Mercy. Fucking press Q already, man. I was like spamming, I was mashing Q chat at 99%, just mashing Q, like Q, 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 Okay, so... Because I was mashing we got it, in it. Overtime, does that mean we don't have a chance to cap to win? We both have one minute, because it's... if Since they were under one minute themselves, I think... We both get a shot now. Oh, because it has to give them time, so it's unfair to us if it gives us Yes, time. if they need more time. So I think that's what it is. It's like one minute barrier. I think that's what it is. It's not every scenario is zero seconds, okay. but like, if we had... I just thought because there's a point to cap. Yeah, if they had zero time. seconds and we had a time over one minute left over, then it would just give us the push with our remaining time. And then they can only draw... Oh, us canceling the May ult at the end? Oh, no, that was you. Yeah. That was you. It's perfect. Because we, we knew she had it, and that was great, dude. Well, she was like half health. Yeah, yeah and... perfect, right? Every that was actually perfect. If she got that ult off, it would have been sus. Feeling spry. The Zarya tried to grab. Ooh, Anybody yeah. else? Yeah. Healing. The Baptist here. drops his field. Nobody dies. Life's good. Right, we gotta get this dub here. Continuing damage increase. <laughs> Checking in. Five, four, three, two, one. Capture. Okay, guys, we got this. What was that? Sigma. Yeah. Sigma no rock. Got you, sir. Go left, go left, go left. Oh fuck! That shit dead. That shit dead. Huge, huge, huge. 
Oh no, dead. Sigma to use the suck. Fap is low. Fap use immortality. No more mortality. Not bad. Nice. Perfect. I'm with you. I'm with you, Matt. He's in the building. Corp's in the building. Inside, I saw him. Right side. Inside, right side. Get off, get off, get off. I'm gonna play like mid back range. I'm Fall back if you have to. You're half health. Guys, let's just play together. <sighs> oh my god, how did I not die there? Holy shit. Get there! They use immortality. Fap is low up there. Their supports are low. Wait, 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 ping on, ping on. Up top, they're high ground. I can't get them. That's Genji's. They might have healed now. I'll play on payload back with Fap. I almost have visor as well. Just stay alive. First thing. You got three of us on the payload. We're trying to maximize that pushing. They probably have their tank ult as well. Watch Sigma ult. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fight. Uh, what, what? I'm literally on it. I got booped by Bastion's right click into the cum, dude. That torb nut. Oh my god, forget. If, oh, fuck. I, I was probably like a millimeter away. Yeah, we got nut, dude. Oh, man. This is press Q to win. We could totally we hold this though. Push. We totally got this. Yeah, actually. we can. Like we pushed well, but we easily could have gotten that to the end. Uh, our push was awesome. They're actually really good. We're in a winning position. We're at, we actually like we are what, far in that. Are second. far in the lead with a push like that. We're in the lead easily. Last time we held them longer than that. We can do this. Every yeah. soldier needs a cause. Just another day in the office. You're right. Okay, like, guys, when they don't have alts, they haven't really done much. The, the only person getting picks is their four, it's random turrets. Yeah, no. We definitely got this. Okay, I'm gonna try to do a cheeky hook at the beginning, and I'll go quickly walk back. If you want to watch him, Famous you know, last words. Of it, you know, shoot him. If I miss, Three, I'm an idiot. Five, but no, no. I'll try not to. Three, two, no. One. Yes. Attackers incoming. Defend no. objective A. Let's smash him. No, he shielded. Fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. They use immortality? Ash as well? Fuck. Nice. Flash that. Now 30 seconds are gonna walk through soon. Bap uh, wasting immortality again. Nice hook, great hook. Thank you. Watch Bastion. Play back, they're getting point now. Bastion dead. Soldier one, soldier one, soldier one, soldier one. Nice! You guys are crashed, you guys are crashed. Oh, the wonder junk. Okay, hey, okay, GG. Mercy, you popped off. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. Oh, the saxophone part at the perfect time. Wow, what a timing. I'm actually having so much fun right now. As I know. With the comms, the gameplay is so much better. Just much higher quality 
gameplay if team is comming with one another. Without comms, it's just the fucking Wild West, dude. Hold up, I'm gonna take a short BRB. I'll check out what's going on in the other room. I'll be back in a moment. Yo, no cap on a stack, though. We actually just, like, overall played really well in that game. Overall played well. Yeah, we cooked good. There was good cooking. And, dude, it's just... When, you can tell... When my head is in the game, I'm calming. When my head isn't in the game, I'm silent. That, it's just as what it is, dude. When I'm like, when I care about winning, you can tell because I calm. I go silent, chat. When I'm not like, when I'm in, when I'm pissed off, dude. I'll be silent, dude. It's true, dude. I'm too genuine of a person, chat. I can't really hide things. You know what I mean? Like my my mental state about the game that I'm currently in. I can't hide it, dude. Can't hide it. I'm not I'm not good at acting, that's why, you know. I'm always very transparent. Can't fake something, dude. But I can very confidently say that I'm actually having a good session right now. You know, even though we had a couple losses, I know exactly, like, what my mistakes were. And if anything, it's much better to see your mistake rather than lose a lot of games to that mistake and then, like, never identifying it. At some point, you got to identify what you're doing wrong. And it's, like, a different thing here and there. I still make a variety of different mistakes, but a lot of them have to do with not playing my life. You can see that match, I had, like, one of the least deaths. That previous match, um, 
I'm very low, actually lower than I usually would have deaths on DPS. And I ended up cooking, dude. And that's the thing, I stay alive, do a shit ton of damage. I kept getting their supports to like one, and I started like really focusing on better priority targets. What is this? We're 5 4 today. Meh. Actually lost to some trolls, dude. Check the M's. Mm. Mate, this is 30 seconds. Yeah, for real, dude. See, chat, this is true. This is a true depiction of uh, me. Okay, this is a perfect depiction of the stream. It's like a Mikey stream abridged. It's like, dude, when there's no comms, it's like pain and misery. Pain and misery makes no comms, and no comms makes pain and misery. So it's like, it's a self-loop. When nobody on the team is talking, if everybody is silent, dude, it's a bad loop. It's bad. It's actually really bad. And the fact that we're actively talking on the mic is the reason why we won that game. We won that game because we kept talking. We never gave up. And that's how it is. See, chat, we're going to get wins like this. We're going we're gonna to make it, chat. It's never over, dude. I'm never going to give up. We got this shit. Only with the comms. And like, again, you know, especially the comms where you call out kills, like basically this is what actually matters. This is the number one thing that matters. Comms that result in a support getting killed is like, oh, Moira no fade, Kiriko no Suzu, no, Kiriko no cooldowns, BAP no immortality. Like these are the comms that win fights like heavy. Like, of course, you can call out, like, oh, Zarya, no barrier, you know, Winston, no jump, blah, blah, blah. But the comms that can result in support kills are a valuable, very, 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 very valuable thing. Or the comms, that's what I'm saying. For example, Mikey, no bitches. Ah! Excuse me? Bro. Quite the opposite. Quite the opposite. Also, I got the uh, Amber Facts, dude. Gotta let your team know in streamer, no bitches. Excuse me? Bro, wait, what? What? Wait, Mikey is in a mode? Yes. Okay, give me one second.
Hello, chat. First retro game plan? Mmm. 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 You know what I never fully played? I never fully played the Ocarina of Time. I do want to play Ocarina of Time. That would be a good first uh, retro game of that retro month. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, dude. Will be huge. Alright. Down for some more games. Also, Matt, you remember what I said about the, um... Badly here? Where's Badly? Yo, Matt Gat, what's up, bro? The Mats have arrived. Matt Gat and Matt Rare. Oh, no. The same color username, Mats. This is going to be a tremendous task for me to read this. Tremendous, dude. But no, I know that Matt Rare is the green mod icon, and Matt Gat has a prime symbol. That's a good distinction. Yo, what's up, Cac? We're what cooking right now. We're in the process of cooking a couple bison. victories. Select your hero. I am always ready to learn. You are not alone. I don't need your pity. It's not pity. I know how it feels to be alone for a long time. No, I don't think I will. Okay, well, I'm just talking about the, the randos, the healers. Yeah. Yeah, guys, we're gonna not have healers in our voice chat, so... Careful, it's fine. I don't need comms. Jigga Chad. Your tank sounds really bald. Yeah, it's like a problem. My mouse traction is a little bit sus, Chad. Ash to the left of the point. Nice hook, dude. Thanks, man. Hook, <laughs> broke on Sombra. Stop. Another hug. Uh, 
Bob's on the point, I'm just gonna be on the other side of it. I need some help. No support alive. Oh, fuck, man. Oh my god, he's shot. I should swap it, though. I should like Someone swap. needs to fill this saddle. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Don't even, don't even bother. Stay back, boys. Some shit on my keyboard. Okay, okay, I'm coming back. I'm in spawn. I'm walking out. Together, boys, together. Just one pick. All we need. One, two. Come on, left side. All left, we go right. I'm right behind you. Nice, okay. Nice, yeah, just like that. Let's go point, go point. Not the point, boys. Don't let Mercy Red Hog if she's trying to eat the cheek. Hi, Spa. I go behind us. Nice, Sue. Nice, Die. <laughs> Honestly, Matt seems like he's covering a lot. Hog, then I turned. You hooked yeah. the hog. You hooked him. I turned around. I hooked him. And then Double hook. It's perfect. And then Echo turned into another hog. <laughs> yeah, bro. Four road hogs. You kill her. Yeah, dude. So that was actually sick. Bro, Echo is so sick. You just turn into the enemy tank. Yeah, he's, just, he's cleaning up our good, mistakes, you know? A lot of good uh, hit scan damage. So I could go and mess with their support. I'm behind you guys. I don't know how you ran faster than me. My legs are short. Bro, I'm dead ass. I need heal. Hard one, hard one. Nice. Smack protecting the healer. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Nice. Here you go. Nice. Interesting. I got hooked back on my dash. Whoa! Okay, stay away from me. Wait for me. We got two ults. What happened? What happened? 
Uh, I walked into the Roadhog trap, so that's why I died. Also, Mercy died to the same trap. Alright, wait for me, guys. Wait for me. It's like right now until 5 years old. We need a pick. We need to capitalize off here. Nice hook. Hog in my trap. Kill this badass. Alright, she's all thing. We go the other way. Oh, Roadhog is fully behind us. No. Okay. Uh, rise. And he high nooned me! Oh wow. Ah, damn it. Can't do anything with Genji here, man. So I played Genji. And Genji wasn't it. Well, I mean it worked initially, and then they swapped all these shit. I got fucked on. Oh my god, I got caught trolling so hard. Thanks for bailing me out, I trolled. Oh good man, I got you. I actually trolled dude, I'm trolling. I mean intrinsically, that's not, I can play not, well we but sometimes I mess up. I'm a oh, human queen being. Now. There's no love. No way. Oh my god, I hit. I <laughs> oh. Unprecedented. No, dude, oh my god, that Bob's angle on me. Holy. Score. Chat, no way, chat. That's got a little crazy. Bit of a DPS, Moira. That's a little crazy, bit. dude. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Hey, that well, makes a lot of I actually makes good I sense. Messed. I tried to hook Bob into the hole, and I'm like, I, I don't know how. He just he didn't move. Like, he Bob shot me through a crack. Literally a crack. This Ash or her Bobs have been crazy. They've been where I never expected. I we we're, we're right. She bobs left, Five, knowing we're gonna turn four, left. Three, She's cracked. One. But we're one, winning, like in like deep, like we're killing them. Yeah, we got this. I think they're just using their ult smarter than us. That is true. Two of them going right. Very 
good. Yeah, our target focus is going crazy right now. Below us. Kind of alone for a second, Rodon. Oh. Yeah, but that's uh -huh. okay. <laughs> Diff. Cut ulti for their push. Hold on, Mercy's behind us. Soldier top right. We have all our ults for this. I kind of trolled like the second half or the second round, but third round I feel like I definitely played a pretty decent bastion. Now Matt definitely cooked. There was a massive cookage. The pocket mercy added you. <laughs> no, yeah, the pocket mercy changes everything, man. It's like you're playing a death laser beam shooter, dude. And if you can track with soldier and you have a mercy pocket, it's br it's actually broken shit dude it's ridiculous it's actually nuts mercy changes everything even when you're playing farah and you have a mercy you need to realize that farah rockets deal 120 damage direct like if you have a mercy boosted on it it's like you're shooting these death explosions everywhere so much damage mercy's actually broken low-key busted Underrated brokenness. I'm also down for, um... I'm also down for a bit of HOTS, if the lads are saying HOTS. Supports were duoed. They weren't bad. Sups. Well, the buddy, I sound bald. FML. Yeah, no, it's like we can tell it. The, the little ounce of despair in the back of your throat whenever you're like saying something. Like, I, we can like sense it. It's fine though. Takes one to no one. <laughs> we could do like one more. Defenses. Select your hero. <laughs> G 
Jeez. They're not in voice chat again. If we do this right, they won't even know what happened. What? Ah. Buddy, what are you laughing about? Ah. Uh, that's what toxic people say. Jeez! Wait, they actually called your ass out, Matt. They called your ass out. Ash is one. I can wall off who you hook. Hog walled off, hog walled off. It's fine, back up. I'm empty, I'm empty. No. Brig walled off. That's a shame, man. Nah, that was sorry. a good wall. My ship is just on cooldown. down. That's okay, Matt's getting hit. Support's on the left. Someone's in my trap up there, that means it's all left. Nice, Matt! We're fully behind them right now. Get I'm that here, on him. Nice. I have Hog on me. Hog is chasing you. I mean, on Ash. Box him out. Well, I'm fucked. That was a big ult. So I died to the ult. Yeah, pick off the squishy. Smart, smart, smart. Mike, huge. Oh, Let's humongous. go. Oh, like, oh. Ah. And Mercy Reds is me too. Running me. Running me, boys. Running me. The wonder pick. The character that ties it all together. I think May has a very strong punish game. Nice. nice, bro. Perfect. Good, and we got this. No, <laughs> sorry. I buy you, buddy. Excellent. Oh, oh get sniped! <laughs> Focusing who I hope. That act is so good. That's why it's gotta be done. Cause like Road Do Roadhog doesn't need to one shot. It's just the team that makes sure each kill can be converted. Oh, oh. Bro, I'm fucked. I got hooked into this shit. I walled them off. Never mind. Good team. You they break ult at that too. I have Blizzard again. Almost. Hog in there. Oh, behind us, Hanzo. Fuck, only Hanzo. Hanzo literally just carried. Hanzo killed all of us. Oh my god. What the hell? When did they even have a Hanzo? Mm. I don't know. Felt like he did nothing. He threw on the hacks. Are we touching? Are we touching? Are we touching? If we can touch, yeah, I have my ult. Stall it, I have my blue. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm right behind. Oh, fuck. Okay, you know what? It's buying a second. You might even send it to the Ah, man. Fuck. Not your fault. At all. Oh no. Oh, 
I'm gonna get hooked. I'm fucked. Already, like I haven't been cleansed enough. I I don't even think I've been cleansed. Tactical goggles activated. I just realized I missed the fucking junk rat skin. I'm scanning Oh, that's not good. No, may is low on the point. No cooldown. Oh, she still had wall. Use her ice block. Careful, careful, I missed my hook. I need help. Careful for Hosa. Thank you. Walk no hook. Hogs all coming. Fuck, I don't know if I ult that. I'm probably just fucked over, so. Ah. We Us. Oh, Hanzo, bro. What? Nah, oh, man. We're gonna have to address that. Bro, this Hanzo's look one single handedly two fights for them. I am always ready to learn. They're not pushing right now. Just we can group. Okay, there's an okay. ice. What? Dude, the full Moira fucking orb just f It does that much? It, it actually can kill a human being? Oh my god. I did not know that. I don't know what to do. You learn something new every day, chat. It's not like the captive with a lot of time. They didn't have a minute. Nice job, Let's stay close to I know this place. So, sweet Idina has grown into a domineering beast. My name is Risa. You would be wise to remember it. Hanzo single hand, that first point we had it, like, for free. Five, four, just, we didn't even know there was a Hanzo, he goes and he kills three people, one, and he ults somehow? Dead. 
Good pick. Oh. Good pick. Wow, I actually fucking love Echo. She's so fun. Also going Cassidy, huh? This time I have it. Bro, what are Echo? What's Echo's damage? No, he's one. Fuck. Ah. Ah. Fuck. Ain't no way, dude. Where one? Where one? Damn. Well, they're double his hand, so I'm going Bastion. Pew, pew, pew. Don't wake, sorry. Bro, are they- are both of our supports just in their own VC, guys? Because they just straight up nano coalesces- coalescence? Yep. And that just literally didn't win- even win us the point. That's a joke, dude. They're just duo in their own VC, and they actually kind of trolled, man. Like, what- what is that? She got nano coalescence, and then she got slept. We got slept by the enemy on it. Like, right, everybody just saw that, right? Like, excuse me? None of them. Nice, Mikey! <laughs> Macrino roll. Nice. <laughs> Gotcha, bitch. Oh, no. Okay. or like a shield yeah well because now they have the hanzo again and uh 
I'm gonna have to get through that. Nice up. Oh, oh, fuck, man. Ugh. Fucking Hanzo. Got that meta one. Going out, go for this just right away. It's fine, we can win. Okay. Oh well, I, I mean, I just uh, swung. Thank you, Matt. Life protects life. Push the attack now. We're gonna lose. I'm on fire. Good shit, Matt. Hey, I zoned off the Hanzo, alright? Listen. I did like one thing. It's not, it's not that I did nothing, I did one thing. Oh, fuck. I actually, I actually have to kill him. Q. Wait, I can't ult while I'm lasering? Oh my fucking god. I can't press Q while I'm laser beaming. Oh, I was pressing Q. All I had to do was cancel my laser. Judging by your amount of typing, y'all insecure as fuck. Uh. Oh man, no no no, but for real though. Like seriously, guys, you're telling me that I can't ult while lasering as Echo because I legitimately just like had that happen. Why didn't it go through then? You can, why didn't it go through? Chat, I was mashing Q. I was mashing fucking Q. With my ult off, and it didn't go off on the Hanzo. That's dank, man. Ain't no way. Repeat, improve. I wouldn't get too close. My skills are improving. They literally just like to talk shit. At first, they start. They, they start. They said it was your fault. Like, we didn't even try to swap DPS. And then they start talking shit about like they literally think it's everybody else's fault but theirs. Dude, I'm so I'm all in the main. I have her in a corner. Right, I'm I'm like like 60 percent of my health. Right before I die. I mean, sorry. Right before May dies. Like we were just pulls me out. And he said I was throwing the game. Oh well. He didn't pull me out. He pulled me into the ceiling. 
I don't know, man. It's like we didn't really like overall play bad. Like we were doing well. I just don't know. I actually think we played really well. Our push at the beginning, great. Our hold at the beginning, great. Towards the end, it fell apart because they took advantage of our shit support. They knew that if we stayed in a fight for a long time, we'd lose because we weren't getting healed. Bro, Echo's left click is actually like pretty interesting too. It's like... That was not a DPS diff. We literally got. Nah, you played great that man. We literally got support diff. Really like hard. we didn't throw. Like if we didn't really throw. though myself so that's fine. I mean they were in comms together themselves that's why they're not team boys yeah they were just doing like random that. shit oh our supports healing each other so helpful like we actually inted our two support ults leading into the last area anyways and then we just exactly like nano coalescence was just a complete waste <laughs> we could have taken that point literally that proves that we could have just taken that point with one ult and that was full off literally we just won it off of that and we would have had both of that for tempo yeah right they were just doing all i was nanoed once when i wasn't in the fight all right so what are you guys saying you want to play another ow or Okay, let's play Hots then. Fuck you, Overwatch. Alright, chat, I'm gonna play some Heroes of the Storm. Some chill MOBA gaming. <laughs> Very chill. Most chill ever. Most chill ever gaming ever. Just quickly take a short beer and be I'll see if there's some food that I can get.
Yo guys, sorry, I got me some dinner. I'm gonna have to eat, dude. Have to snack for a bit. Hope you guys understand. I'll message probably just make sure. Have a big meal, nice big meal chat, and then we can watch some YouTube. Watch a little bit of YouTube. Uh, do, 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 do. There's some more Astrum videos. I love Astrum. Boop, boop, boop. Something is still lurking below the moon's surface. ETA on food, about the length of an Astrum video. It's like 10 15 minutes. This video is 14 minutes, so. Gonna be watching at least 14 minutes video. Watch a little video. Something still lurking below the moon's surface. Indian mission. Let's go. Dinner time, boys. India's Chandrayaan 3 moon mission has already proven historic. It put India in the history books for being the fourth nation to ever successfully land mm. a spacecraft on the moon cool. and the very first to ever See? land at its south pole. We're at, we're, at a, we're at an age, because it's recently happening, it might not be like all over like every single news outlet, blah, 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 but other nations are landing spacecraft on planets. It's now multiple nations have this achievement. I'm pretty sure for landing on the moon. It's probably US, China, India are three of the four, and the fourth would be uh, Russia? One of the four nations that land something on the moon. US, China, India, Russia, right? I think. I'm not sure. Paul, the lander Vikram and the rover Pragyan already made discoveries that could profoundly impact our understanding of the moon's chemical composition and geological history and has given the world vital data that will aid future return missions to our lunar neighbor. And yet, for all the praise, which is well deserved, it's what Chandrayaan 3 did not discover, but should have, that I find the most intriguing. Mm. Have you noticed it too? India's NASA equivalent, ISRO, the Indian Space ISRO. Research Organization made press. Mm. India's NASA, bro. That's actually pretty cool. NASA and then ISRO. Check out Terra Invicta. <laughs> oh, I see. The Indian Space Research Organization made press releases before the launch, and there was always one thing they claimed they were primarily there to find. One reason the South Pole was picked out over all other locations one mystery about the moon that is deepening the more we investigate and yet needs to be solved before we can expect to start setting up permanent bases up there yeah simply basically we want to make bases on the moon that's why we even go to the moon still we want to make a base and we're going to make a base near the source of water that they hypothesize that is on the moon you know i've watched quite a bit of astrum on the moon there's water that's frozen at the poles where sunlight never reaches the top north pole and south pole of the moon there's water basins and so if we would have a colony there it would be on the north or south pole near particular geysers or particular large craters of water we make a base there that's actually crazy we put where is all the water Mm, where is all the water? I'm Alex McColgan, and you're watching Astrum. Moon has Today water. Today we'll take a look at Chandrayaan Frozen 3, water. explore its successes, and attempt to use its discoveries to answer that one important question. It was India's Chandrayaan 1 mission that helped provide some of the clearest proof that the moon's polar craters might hold water ice. Water on the moon had been hypothesized since the 1960s, and in 1971, Apollo 14 found some traces of water vapor at the lunar surface. 
but water ice itself proved difficult to pin down. Scientists thought that if water ice was anywhere, it would be in the craters at the north and the south lunar poles. These craters were aligned such that they never received direct sunlight and thus were very cold, some of the coldest places in our entire solar system. The perfect forming ground for ice. Sadly, images of these crater coal traps were too low resolution or simply too dark for us to know for sure. And while there were numerous detections of hydrogen on the moon's surface, it was unclear whether this took the form of actual water ice or not. However, in 2009, signs of hydration began to emerge. Chandrayaan-1, carrying a NASA moon mineralogy mapper, found the first definitive spectrographic signatures of water ice in dozens of craters congregated around the moon's poles. This water map was later confirmed by Chandrayaan-2, leaving scientists increasingly confident that there was potentially 600 million metric tons of water Damn. ice to be found in the moon's dark. India's putting in work. Craters. Water on the moon is a big deal. More and more nations have goals of setting up bases on the moon, and being able to source your water from the moon's surface saves you from having to spend huge amounts of resources getting it up there. Water is vital for human life, but also could be broken down for hydrogen and oxygen, useful ingredients for rocket fuel, or a breathable atmosphere in your moon base. So it should come as no surprise that when Chandrayaan-3 began to make its way towards the moon, one of the things the media reported it was hoping to find was water ice. Chandrayaan-3 was launched on the 14th of July, 2023. Hold up chat, this is a really nice video. I'm gonna quickly get something to drink and then we can continue. Cause I'm eating dinner right now, it's really tasty. I'm gonna get a drink. No worries, Baldy. Hope you have a good one, man. Have a good rest. All right. Let's go. It was made up of a lander module called Vikram. A small ported it was hoping to find was water ice. Chandrayaan-3 was launched on the 14th of July, 2023. It was made up of a lander module called Vikram, a small rover called Pragyan, and an orbiter module that carried the other two components across the gulf of space. On the 23rd of August, Vikram, 
with the little Pragya tucked inside, touched down on the moon's surface at the beginning of a lunar day. But time was not on their side. Chandrayaan-3 was a surprisingly cost-effective mission. While NASA's Artemis mission launches will each cost on average $4.1 billion, the entire Chandrayaan-3 mission only came to 6.15 billion rupees, or about $75 million, mm. ironically less than what many modern blockbuster space films take to produce. Perhaps Hollywood should consider filming their next moon film on site. However, with this lower budget came technological limitations. When the lunar night fell, Vikram and Pragyan would be subjected to temperatures of minus 120 degrees Celsius, temperatures they were not designed to survive. A lunar day lasts 14 Earth days. The Chandrayaan-3 mission would need to complete its major objectives in that time, as their odds of surviving to the day after that were slim. And so Vikram lowered its ramp, and Pragyan, the rover, powered up and headed out down onto the moon's surface. Pragyan is a 27 kilogram six-wheeled rover that came equipped with an alpha particle X-ray spectrometer for analyzing the chemical composition of the moon by firing radiation at it and seeing what wavelengths bounce back, and a laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy instrument. Mm. It does a similar thing, but this time by firing a laser at the target of interest and analyzing the light wavelengths that are released by the resulting plasma. These two tools together would be enough for Pragyan to attempt to find water or any other interesting substances, confirming their composition for scientists once and for all. And so, it set to work, deploying both instruments on the ground next to it. Within days, the results started to come in. Aluminium, calcium, iron, chromium, and titanium were all found on the moon's surface, along with other interesting elements like oxygen. Indian scientists were most excited at the first ever in situ measurement of sulfur at the moon's pole. Sulfur is an mm. exciting element to find sulfur. as it helps us understand the evolution of the moon over time and indicates there used to be volcanic activity in the region. But in spite of all these discoveries, there was one element that was not showing up in the analysis the all-important hydrogen was notably absent. Pragyan set off to explore further afield. Guiding the rover was all done manually by scientists back on Earth, looking through Pragyan's onboard navigation camera. This had to be carefully done, as the signal delay between Earth and the Moon meant that orders for the rover to halt lagged by a little under three seconds. Time that might make all the difference if the little six-wheeled rover was to avoid overturning. And indeed, this nearly happened. Early on in Pragyan's journey, the rover had to speedily stop to avoid falling into a large four-meter crater scientists hadn't initially realized was there. I say speedily. Pragyan's move speed was one centimeter per second, hardly the fastest of sprinters. Over the course of its two-week life, Pragyan traveled no more than 100 meters from Vikram. Fortunately, the crater was detected in time and scientists were able to turn around and choose another route. However, when you look at Pragyan's route, you notice that there was a second moment where Pragyan did not travel down into a crater it came across, instead electing to go around. No photos of this second crater are currently available so we are left to conclude that no ice was spotted there. Vikram itself did not remain idle during this time. It performed temperature readings of the moon's surface, digging 10 centimeters deep to measure the moon's warmth at different depths. It measured the plasma content of the atmosphere. Good news, there's not much up there, so radio communication to the moon likely won't get much interference. It detected a possible moonquake, which, given the small two-week window, was some excellent timing, at the very end of its journey, in a moment of final enthusiasm, the Vikram lander even successfully performed a 40 centimeter high hop, firing its boosters to lift itself off the ground, moving 30 to 40 centimeters along from its previous destination. Indian scientists had wanted to test how easy it would be for future landers to one day propel themselves back into orbit from the moon, and this was a useful practice run. 
But none of this helped the Chandrayaan-3 mission to find water ice. By the 4th of September, time was up. Vikram and Pragyan were ordered to power down. Israel scientists had hoped to wake them up again once the night ended, but this hope proved to be fruitless. The two lunar explorers had communicated with Earth for the last time. Israel and the scientific community at large lauded their efforts and called the mission a success. And indeed it was, as India had gained first-hand data from the moon that would be extremely helpful in building a picture of conditions at its poles, along with furthering our understanding of the moon's history. However, it definitely raises a mystery. When I first heard that water ice had been detected on the moon, I envisioned in my mind frozen ice lakes, or possibly tall penitentes. Perhaps a light frost, as vapor from the moon's atmosphere ended up trapped in these darkened craters, freezing over the surface and building up over time. We know from orbiters like Chandrayaan-1 that water ice is indeed in these craters, and yet Chandrayaan-3 has joined other missions in failing to actually see this ice for themselves. I remember feeling similarly disappointed when I first saw the images captured by Shadowcam, a NASA camera carried on the South Korean Denuri moon orbiter. Shadowcam was South Korea. so good at detecting light, it could see into the polar craters that hadn't seen direct sunlight in millions of years without issue. And yet, once again, there was nothing there. Nothing but arid dust. Given that Pragyan's analysis of the lunar regolith revealed no signs of water molecules, where is the water ice the Chandrayaan-1 detected? While this mystery is confusing, Chandrayaan-3 offers us a possible answer. Not through Pragyan's explorations, it's actually Vikram that possibly hinted at the solution. When Vikram used its chased temperature sensor, it was able to take 10 different readings of the moon's temperature starting at the surface and working its way down in one centimeter increments. What it found in the space above the moon's surface was a temperature a little under 60 degrees Celsius. Definitely too hot for you to walk around in if you happen to be on the moon and somehow didn't care about the lack of air. But curiously, as Chase measured deeper and deeper beneath the surface, this sweltering temperature dropped off fast. By eight centimeters deep, the new temperature Vikram was detecting was minus 10 degrees Celsius. That's a big drop. From this, we can see that lunar regolith is a really poor heat conductor. But that also indicates quite clearly that the best place we're likely to see ice is not resting on the moon's surface, but we actually need to look beneath it. There's much we don't understand about the moon and its water cycles, there's growing evidence that the moon contains quite a lot of water, and yet extracting it will take understanding where that water can be found, and how it moves throughout the long lunar days and nights. Is it affected by solar radiation? Is it trapped in hidden deposits? Although Chandrayaan-3 only lasted two weeks, which I'm sure is less time than Israel scientists would have liked, it has offered us vital insights into the conditions on the moon. As far as water is concerned, at the very least, it has given future astronauts this one piece of advice. If you want to find a drink of water on the moon, you might want to start by bringing a shovel. Geez, water on the moon, dude, water on the moon. Well, I'm still eating, so I'll watch another one. I fucking love space. What a supernova would do to Earth if it looks like this. Imagine for a moment that you're looking out your window when a singular bright light so suddenly I got, so flares got into existence in the sky above you. 
This dazzling star is as luminous as the full moon at night, perhaps brighter, and is even visible during the day. If you can see the light, you might already be in trouble, as that unexpected star is now flooding the atmosphere of the Earth with a catastrophic dose of gamma radiation and X-rays, stripping away our ozone layer and exposing us to the full fury of the Sun's deadly radiation. And on its way, jettisoned out at 10,000 to 40,000 kilometers per second, a cataclysmic wave of stellar matter and debris hurtles towards our planet. The dying roar of an exploding star venting billions of tons of burning mass at us, ready to sweep across our planet's surface in a tidal wave of fire. This is a supernova. Or at least, it's one interpretation of what we might see if one were to occur near us. But how likely is it for this to actually happen? What constitutes near us on a cosmic scale? How close would a supernova blast have to be before life on Earth would be threatened? What might we on Earth actually experience? And what stars near us have the potential to detonate in this way? I'm Alex McColgan and you're watching Astrum. Join with me today as I discuss an event that could be an Armageddon in our lifetimes, or could be nothing more than a pretty twinkle in the sky. Let's start with the good news. Supernovae in our galaxy are not that common. While astronomers observe hundreds of supernovae every year outside our galaxy, this is mostly a reflection on how many galaxies there are in the universe. Closer to home though, within our own Milky Way, we likely only see about two to three every century. This means that the odds of one going off tomorrow are not that high. But they're not impossible, and according to archaeologists, the Earth has likely been hit by a supernova before in the course of its 4.5 billion years of existence. For starters, mm. we exist in an area of space known as the Local Bubble, a relatively sparsely populated region of interstellar space about 1,000 light years across that is thought to have been carved out by a supernova detonation 10 to 20 million years ago, which our planet would have been around for. I talk about that in another of my videos which you can see here. Scientists have found evidence of another detonation that happened two and a half million years ago due to a high concentration of iron 60 and manganese 53 in a particular layer of the geological record. This supernova happened far enough away to be harmless to us, but this might not always be the case. There are some scientists who believe that the extinction of woolly mammoths was caused by a massive piece of debris from a supernova crashing into the planet about 13,000 years ago. The impact site in question had magnetic spherules and radioactive potassium-40, a substance found in supernova ejecta. A smoking gun in wow. the area where most mammoths went extinct. Even before that, mammoth tusks from 34,000 years ago were found containing tiny impact craters from grains of slightly radioactive iron that had been traveling at 10,000 kilometers per second. Interesting. If you can recall, that was one of the potential speeds supernovae explosions travel at. That can't have been a nice experience for the mammoths in question. An astute observer from this might be able to note an important fact, however. Evidently, if life began on Earth about 3.7 billion years ago, and we faced three supernova explosions that have impacted us in the last 20 million years, and life is still largely ticking along, my condolences, woolly mammoths, if you did die out from one of these, then supernovae as a whole can't be quite as destructive as my opening introduction made them out to be. And that's largely true, although it is, of course, a question of proximity. If I'm 1,000 kilometers away from a nuke going off, I have little to fear. But it's a different story if one detonates on my coffee table. And when it comes to supernovae, it turns out that the universe has relatively large coffee tables. Mm. To understand the scale of these explosions, it's necessary to understand the forces involved, which means we need to understand a little better about how supernovae happen. It turns out that there's two main paths stars can take to get to that explosive grand finale, 
although in each case it has to be the right kind of star. For the first path, resulting in a Type 1a supernova, it usually needs to be a white dwarf in a binary system that's gradually or speedily siphoning matter away from its neighboring star until it reaches a point of critical mass. This path is not fully understood, but it's thought that a white dwarf, or a dense star comprising of mostly carbon in a giant super diamond core, is normally finely balanced between two powerful opposing forces, electron degeneracy pressure and gravity. This simply means that atoms usually object to being squashed too much. Their electrons like to remain at certain distances from the nucleus of the atom and will resist being pushed denser than this point. But gravity is an incredibly powerful force that seeks to draw matter closer, particularly in a dense mass like a white dwarf where a section the size of a sugar cube has the mass of around a car. And in a binary system where the white dwarf is absorbing more and more matter from its neighboring star, eventually gravity overwhelms electron degeneracy pressure and the whole house of cards collapses at once. Carbon fusion begins. Within a few seconds, most of the star undergoes fusion, forming into heavier elements and releasing a whole lot of energy as the matter in the star settles into its slightly more efficient new configuration. How much energy? Around one quarter raw decillion joules. That's one followed by 45 zeros. Oh, if you claim you knew that number before, you're almost certainly a liar. All of this energy mm -hmm. is released in just a few seconds. So naturally, the star ejects its entire contents out in all directions, sending it traveling at 6% the speed of light and unleashing a flood of mostly gamma radiation out across the galaxy. The brightness of this event is 5 billion times brighter than our sun and burns for a few weeks until the ejector has traveled far enough that the overall energy level has started to dissipate. The second type of supernova, type 2, is similar, except instead of involving a white dwarf, it involves a massive star, at least five times more massive than the sun, at the end of its lifetime. These stars are still burning brightly, and rather than just electron degeneracy pressure, it's also the heat of fusion that keeps the star in balance. However, just like a type 1a supernova, eventually, balance collapses. This time it's because the star runs out of fuel, and without this additional fusion energy pushing the star's mass outwards, electron degeneracy pressure on its own can't cope with the star's weight to similar effect. The only difference is that while some of a massive star will remain, often collapsing down into a neutron star or a black hole, white dwarfs usually vanish completely. Either way, the scale of material and energy released by a supernova is vast. So vast that unsurprisingly, anything immediately next to it is not going to last long. This is an energy powerful enough to rip apart a star. A planet is going to have no chance if it's in the immediate vicinity. Our own sun thankfully will never go supernova as it's not massive enough, but if it did, there is a good chance the Earth would be either partially or completely vaporized, its rocky exterior reaching a boiling point thanks to temperatures 15 times hotter than the surface of our Sun and being whisked away in the weeks of the supernova's passing. What is surprising, however, is how quickly this first wave of devastation would dissipate with distance. Indeed, Vaporization is realistically not the largest threat a supernova poses. In 2011, experts from the University of Cambridge calculated that even planets orbiting their star at a distance of 15 billion kilometers, or about 100 times the distance between the Sun and the Earth, would remain intact and would instead simply be sent mm. flying out into space now mm. that there was nothing much left to orbit. Of course, such a planet's hypothetical ecosystem would probably have different problems to worry about. Things would get very cold very quickly. Of course, even if the crust of a planet itself remained intact, that doesn't mean that life on said planet would be sustainable. 
ignoring the light of a supernova, outperforming the brightness of an entire galaxy sometimes, leading to blindness for anyone who saw it. Simply stripping away our atmosphere would carry problems. High levels of radiation, even if it didn't affect us directly, would alter the chemical composition of our atmosphere, negating our ozone layer, vastly increasing our odds of dying of radiation poisoning, and killing off phytoplankton in the ocean and causing mass extinctions as the consequences of that worked its way up the food chain. Scientists put this kill zone to be within 25 light years. Mm. Beyond that, the fury of a supernova begins to calm, as distance causes it to wear itself out. Although admittedly the asteroid that potentially killed the mammoths came from a supernova that was 250 light years away, if it happened at all, mm. it was likely bad luck. Generally speaking, we wouldn't notice any damage from a supernova this far away. Its radiation levels wouldn't be high enough to cause mass extinctions. By 500 light years, we'd hardly notice the event at all, other than perhaps seeing a brighter star in the sky. Which leaves one important question. Within 300 light years, are there any supernova candidates we need to worry about? Thankfully, scientists are fairly confident that the answer is no. Massive stars are very noticeable, and the only two that are at risk of going supernova are Betelgeuse and Antares. Both of those are more than 400 light years away. White dwarfs are a little trickier thanks to their diminished brightness. They've been conventionally hard to spot, making it harder to predict whether we might be at risk from them. However, in 2013, ESA's Gaia Space Observatory released a massive packet of information in its efforts to map the stars that allowed scientists to identify 13,000 white dwarf stars within 326 light years of us. Thankfully, in spite of this large number, scientists remain confident that none of these are scheduled to explode anytime soon. Soon meaning within the next few hundred thousand years. Speaking of Betelgeuse, there are some scientists who predict that this red giant might detonate much sooner than that, perhaps within the next few decades. Mm. Their research works under the assumption that Betelgeuse has a much larger radius than previously predicted, but if it's true, it might mean that we would get to see a local supernova within our lifetimes. Mm. Of course, according to some models, we would have nothing to worry about. The shockwave traveling out from Betelgeuse would take some time to get to us, and even once it arrived, it would be traveling with less force than the push of the solar wind. In other words, it wouldn't be our magnetosphere or atmosphere that kept us safe. The protective sheath of the sun's heliosphere would be enough to keep such a supernova at bay. Mm. So there you have it. While supernovae are perhaps some of the largest explosions in the universe, through some fortunate stroke of luck, our patch of galaxy has nothing really to fear from them. The yeah, our our like solar system has a heliosphere. That's basically like a bubble around the solar system. It's like a magnetic sphere, but it's like the magnetic sphere of the sun. So it's really, when it comes to traveling through interstellar space, it's really this interstellar space that is the most dangerous place to be. Because we, it, like, we have to worry about, on our own, radiation from the sun. But then we have to worry about the radiation of cosmic rays and shit like full-on cosmic radiation that's like outside of our heliosphere that's what makes interstellar travel like actually really dangerous hey so there you have it while supernovae are perhaps some of the largest explosions in the universe through some fortunate stroke of luck our patch of galaxy has nothing really to fear from them the odds of us being hit by even the neighboring stars like Betelgeuse that are scheduled to go supernova are incredibly small. True, Earth has plenty of cataclysms of its own, such as floods, earthquakes and hurricanes that can bring devastation to a community in a heartbeat, and space is still a dangerous place. But it's nice to know that of all the things we have to worry about, we can probably cross planetary annihilation from supernovae off our list. Hmm. Cool. 
What are you saying, Matt? I'm gonna use the washroom real quick. Yo, 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 what's up? Got me some cookies. Dessert. 
nice little dessert. Hold on, let me just clear up a couple, a little bit of space here. Yo. Greetings. Let's try an ARAM. Up to you, man. If you, oh well, that's it. that's instantaneous. I have chocolate chip cookies, chat. Industrial district. <laughs> Look at this art with Anna and Lucio. <laughs> Lucio's just in the hot art. As I desire. Well met, warrior. Are you ready to serve the Alliance? You waste both my time and your breath. And the former has value. Two wizards? Oh, fuck. Oh, really? Huh. The battle begins have a duplicate? in ten seconds. Five, four, three... Two, one, commence combat operations. Vengeance is mine. On. Witness. 
Oh my god, I hit three with the center of it. I hit three with the three of them. I did it. healing you can do. Li Ming broke the
best healing you can do. Perhaps I know what you do to here after all. Your healing spree is over. Even in death, I am the victor. Excellently done. Healing spree. Oh no, my mic was muted. Fuck, dude. Your High Lord has returned. Oh, predictable yet effective. How this game has all the Diablo 3 characters, but no Diablo 4 characters. Too. Thank you. 
go. Lost all my sadism. Not bad. How fair was that match? Sad. Wasn't fair for them. Zarya is a support. Like, Zarya isn't a tank. She's a support hero. <clears throat> She's a support role. <laughs> Sign I use for build says under weakness is this. Weak wave clear, very high learning curve, low HP for Genji. Oh. <laughs> Needs constant healing. Ha. Huh. Bro. Yeah, Genji's wave clear is pretty bad. Hmm. Time to play Lucio, bro. Oh, this is my jam! Overwatch team, dude. Loden. Level 3000, wow. Oh, so that's the icon for frost armor from Warcraft 3. It's your profile pick.
crossfade build. Five, four, three, two, one. Let the battle begin. Yeah. Love it. of the enemy. I hear that. Jeez, I just ganked the, the draws close. Thanks for the relief. We redesigned our tree glove protector, so combat in the Nexus. Prepare to begin field testing. This fort to fall. I shall join the fight. Here we go. I am restored. Triglav terminal online. Take control of it to pilot the man. I'm impressed. Keep up your efforts. Triple kill. Choose a talent. Assign a pilot and a gunner so you can test the weapon with. Protect 
Captain Forward. Impressive. I deserve no less. Wow. Oh yes. my god, dude. Very good. Oh, fuck, dude. Do not allow this fort to fall. Terminal online. Secure it to activate the protector. The strategy is working. You've eliminated the Protect 
its limit. Well done. Most exhilarating. Time for an encore. Love it. Just running away. Violet the protector. Power. <laughs> Nobody saw that. It's gonna be big. For love. To see the protector's power up close. Be ready for it. An ally requires our power. Heal us. Thank you for the healing. Let's get you healed. 
healed up. Let's give it a spin. down. I'm getting another terminal ready for you. Control the terminal and bring in the protector. Keep lost. Well, I'm used to being outnumbered. 
I must know how much damage the protector can take. Do not hold back. They're attacking the core. Stop them! Chill for a bit, maybe do a late night kick stream. Might go live on kick within the next like 30 minutes or so. But you know, I'm just probably gonna be chilling for now. I'll take a break from the Twitch stream. Open up this loop chest though. Loop chest. Gross. But yeah, big GG's. Just wanna say thank you all for your channels and lurkers as always. Had a super chill time, super fun time. Right. But yeah, I'll catch y'all over on kick in a little bit. In like 30 minutes or so. Do some gaming over there. Alright. Peace, peace. Take it easy, chat. Bye-bye.